Fixing poor drainage areas is certainly a priority for many farms going into this fall season. 2018 saw a lot of rain, heavy rain in certain areas. Other areas didn't get any. But my dad always looked at those heavy rain years as an opportunity to see which areas of your fields really did have some drainage problems that needed improving. So we'll talk about how to do that on today's show. Yeah, before we get into how to fix the drainage areas, there are just some things you got to understand too. Poor drainage leads to lots of other problems on the farm. Let's think about, hey, if I have poor drainage, I have more compaction issues. I'm going to have more disease issues. Eventually, I'm going to have more salt. I'm going to have fewer microbes because without oxygen in that soil, not only do roots die and crops die, but so do soil microbes. So what I'm trying to say here is if you want a healthier soil, you have to have good drainage. I can promise you, if you have poor drainage, you will not have a healthy soil. But the focus is for, for many farmers and certainly passers-by is the water that's on top of the soil. And it's kind of like crop growth. We focus on, well, how does the crop look? But what's going on below ground is even more important. So when we think about drainage, we're concerned about the water that's beneath the soil. And so many times we don't see how that water moves and we think, well, if we just fix this one little pothole here, we'll get rid of that water pond that's out in the field and everything will be great. But if your water table is consistently up in that top foot, you're definitely killing roots and you're definitely reducing yield. Here's what I want you to think about too. Yes, it's possible. You can do some landscaping and basically move the water off your field faster by eliminating some of those potholes Darren talked about with ditching and other practices above the ground. But the real problem is below the ground. That's why we talk about drain tile so much because we want the water table down. And there are so many misconceptions out there about tile. We talk about it often here in Ag PhD. Tile doesn't take all the water out of the ground. Tile doesn't automatically run just because it rains. The only reason tile works is when the water table rises above the level of the tile. So placing tile three to four feet deep in the ground keeps the water table down so roots have room to grow and there's more oxygen in that soil. You want to begin any program to improve drainage areas in your field by focusing on those lowest spots in the field. And if you can get the drainage to work out of those lowest spots, well, you can get it to work for the rest of the field. Now, this may involve a lift station, and if you need it, put one in. You're going to get many years of benefit out of that one-time investment. A lot of people do ask about cost with lift stations. Generally speaking, we're talking $10,000 to start with. Might be a little bit more depending on your situation, but what we've spent has been about $10,000 to put that in the ground and get a basic pump. I would spend a little bit more money and get a two-stage pump. That's what I would do. And if you want to do that, hey, just the pump alone might cost 7,500 bucks or something. But anyway, on our farm, I can just tell you to drain off a half an inch drainage coefficient with a seven and a half horse pump it's cost us roughly around $20 a year to pump the water out. $20 per acre per year. Now we've spent as much as about $8 an acre in a month at the peak and most of the time we're not even running the lift station. So it just depends on your situation and what you're going to spend. But the way I look at it, heck, even if I spent 50 bucks an acre, that's only five, uh, maybe eight bushels of soybeans. Well, we're getting more like 30 or 40 bushels of soybeans more production now that we put in the lift station where we absolutely desperately needed it. And there are so many other benefits to fixing these problem areas in your field. When you think about equipment and all the times turning around in the field and compaction and possibly even getting stuck out there, not saying that ever happened to Brian or me, but it is possible out in those areas of the field. So getting those areas fixed is going to improve your yield, but it's also going to make the field so much easier to farm. All right, how are you going to do this? You're going to have to install tile. So work with someone in your area who's done it before. Otherwise, you absolutely can do it yourself. What we often talk about is start with the easiest stuff when you're doing it yourself. We started with the hilliest land we had just so we get some practice in. And over the last 11 years, we've installed tile on virtually every field we've got. It's helped yield just unbelievably. And then in addition to that, we have much, much healthier soil. So I'm super excited about our yields for the next 10 years, even though the last 10 years have been really good. If you're looking for more information on drainage in the September Ag PhD Insider Magazine, we'll have an extensive write-up on everything that you need to know. You can find out more information and subscribe by visiting agphdinsider.com. Another thing you'll always find in the Ag PhD Insider Magazine is information on weed control, like our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop this tough weed coming up next.